Amen. We will be doing some ordinations. Amen. Praise God. But we thank the Lord for what he has done today. I want to say thank you. Amen. To all of you family and friends that came out to support. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. Praise the Lord. You may be seated at this time. Amen. Right now, I would like Elder White to come on up and say something to Come on up, Elder. Amen. God bless you. White. To not be here just as a... And I bring you greetings from Miami from uh, our New Hope. MDC Ministries, where we have Bishop Randall Hopes and Prophet Charlie Hopes. But but today, even right. more special than a parent, than a father, and seeing my firstborn yeah. actually get it right. For the last 42 years, six months, and 17 days, has been my partner in Grandpa's family. I'll tell you right quickly, and watching this, it was just so thrilling the installation and ordination and all, because I, I thought about a script out of Matthew 16 13. You know, when, when Christ brought his disciples into, into Caesarea uh, Philippi, uh huh. real tough, huh? And and he hit him with a setup question. It wasn't just by circumstance they were there. You know that was an area that was noted for idolatry on. Yeah. Idol worship was on. But he brought him into that area, and he raised the question to him. He hit him with a setup. He says, uh, "Who do men say that I is all of all? Come on here." And, and when you hit him with that question. You know, they catch up, they say, well, you know, some say John the Baptist, and they said, they said Elijah, and they said Jeremiah, and some said prophets. But oh, by that time, he said, but who do you, who do you say that I am? And that was the setup. That was the setup. Because it wasn't about what others thought. But Christ wants to know who do you say? Do you really believe that I am here? I say I am. And remember, old, old, old son of Peter, he is, he just said, yeah, come on, come on. You are the Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Son of living God. And he blessed him right then. He said, Bless your son of God, John. But flesh and blood cannot reveal that to you. But my father is in heaven. Yeah. So remember, it's obvious to me. That those being ordained and those being installed, you have answered the question. Yeah. You know the most important question you will ever answer in your life is to answer the question, who do you say? He is. Yes. All else depends on that. If you do not believe in your heart, if you are not convinced that you know better than any insurance policy you may have, you need a blessed assurance. And he is the best assurance. And when you come to know that, man, everything else is just a piece of pie. So I am so happy to be here to witness this and to see people who can answer the question when asked, who did you say he is? One last thing I, I leave with you, because uh, uh, share it to me about a friend in the hospital, the ties are just the same thing. <clears throat> you know, sometimes when you get sick and all the people in the hospital, everybody wants to pray for them. And I had this friend, the other gentleman, been in the hospital sometime, and he said, man, everybody called and said, I want to pray for him, we're going to pray for him. But he said, after a month, he said, wait a minute, he said, do me one thing. Before you pray for me, he said, let me talk to him. Because sometimes God wants to hear from you first. All right. All times in. Do you believe I am who I say I am? Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Amen.